appreciation this morning. Thank him for the blessings of the season. We are in the season of waiting upon the Lord. Thank him for the strength that he has sent to your side. Give him praise this morning. Let heaven hear your voice of appreciation, your voice of thanksgiving. Father, we thank you. We are in your court this morning with a heart filled with gratitude. We slept and woke up because our Father in heaven, his love preserved us. Why not appreciate that privilege? Why not appreciate that golden opportunity? Father, we thank you. Lift up your voice and appreciate the Father this morning. Lift up your voice and celebrate the victory. Father, we thank you for the invisible battles he won on your behalf. Give him praise this morning. Father, we are grateful. Father, we thank you. Is somebody celebrating Jesus? Let heaven hear your voice of thanksgiving this morning. Father, we give you praise. Father, we give you praise. You said unto Zerubbabel, it's not by power, it's not by might, but by my spirit. You saw us true, Lord. We are grateful. We are grateful from the depth of our heart. We thank you. This morning, let's lift up this morning engagement into the hands of God. Let's begin to welcome the Holy Spirit into this place. Let him have his way this morning. Let him have his way this morning. Let him saturate his presence all over the centers, all over the locations. This is the day the Lord has made, and we shall rejoice and be glad in it. What is your expectation for this morning engagement? What is your expectation for the encounter this morning? Let heaven hear you. What is your desire? What have you come for to receive from your father? Let it be known. Make it plain before him this morning. Father, we have come for a torch. Father, we have come for a change. Father, we have come for a transformation. My Lord Jehovah, we are not going the same way this morning. Father, we thank you. Father, we thank you. Lift up your hands. Give him praise. Celebrate the answers already. For in Jesus' precious name, we have prayed. Let us welcome the ministry of the choir. Glorious God, beautiful King, excellent God, I bow before you. So glorious, glorious God, you are beautiful, beautiful King, excellent. Of who you are to ah, me, you are glorious. Sing your name is Alpha, Omega. Omega. To our age, left. you never, you never change. Oh, my God. 
I saw the light, I saw the light. No more darkness, no more night. Now I'm so happy, no sorrow inside. Praise the Lord, I saw the light, I saw the light. I saw the light, I saw the light. Turn us together for Jesus. No more darkness, no more night. Now I'm so happy, no sorrow inside. Praise the Lord. I saw the light. I saw the light. No more darkness. No more night. Now I'm so happy. There is no sorrow inside. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Sing. I saw the light. I saw the light. No more darkness. No more night. Now I'm so happy. No sorrow inside. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. I saw the light. Celebrate your liberty today. No more darkness. I'm no more bad. Now I'm so happy. There is no sorrow inside. Yeah, praise the Lord. I saw the light. I saw the light. No more darkness. Hallelujah. No more night. Now I'm so happy, so happy, no sorrow inside. Praise the Lord. I saw the light. I saw the darkness that I got. No more darkness. No more night. Now I'm so happy. So there is no sorrow inside. Hey, praise the Lord. Sing, I saw the light. I saw the light. No more darkness. Now I'm so happy, so happy, no sorrow inside. Praise the Lord. We are marching, we are marching. Come on, the gates of hell shall not hinder us. We are marching on, we are marching on. The gates of hell shall not hinder us. We are marching, we are marching forward. Take the territories, they shall not hinder us. We are marching on, we are marching on. We're the gates of hell. And we are marching forward, marching, marching, marching on to victory. Shall not hinder us. We are marching on, we are marching on. The gates of hell. Oh, we are growing. Growing up, we are growing on the gates of us. Shall not hinder us. We are growing on, we are growing on the gates of hell. Oh, we are winning, we are winning, we are winning, we are winning every battle. The enemy cannot excel upon us. We are winning on, we are winning on the gates of hell. Marching on, marching, 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 marching. We are marching on, marching on. We are marching on. Yeah, the gates of hell. We are marching forward, marching, marching. We are marching on. Oh, shall not hinder us. We are marching on. We are marching on. We are marching, 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 marching up to victory today. The gates of hell shall not hinder us. We are marching on, we are marching on. The gates of hell shall not hinder us. My case is different. Put your hands together for Jesus and you may please be seated. Straight away this morning, we shall be upstanding to lift up our voice unto heaven. We shall be saying, Father, in the name of Jesus, let this church continue to experience supernatural church growth after the order of the acts of the apostle that we baffle 
human understanding. This year, Acts 13, 44, and the next Sabbath day, nearly the whole city came together for to hear the word of the Lord. With this understanding in our hearts, let's be upstanding this morning, lifting up our voice unto heaven. Father, in the name of Jesus, let this church continue to experience supernatural church growth after the order of the acts of the apostle that will baffle human understanding in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, in the name of Jesus, let this church, Faith Tabernacle, continue to experience supernatural church growth after the order of the acts of apostle that will baffle human understanding in the name of Jesus Christ, lift up your voice this morning. Let heaven hear your voice of intercession. We are saying, Father, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, let this church, Faith Tabernacle, continue to experience supernatural church growth after the order of the acts of the apostle that were powerful human understanding this year 2017 we have seen it before you are capable of doing it again and again you are the same yesterday today and forevermore father in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, let this church, Faith Tabernacle, continue to experience exponential growth, explosive growth in this year, 2017, that we baffle human understanding in the name of Jesus Christ. Lift up your voice unto God this morning. Let heaven hear your voice of intercession. Let him hear your voice of intercession. We are saying, Father, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, let this church continue to experience supernatural church growth after the order of the house of the apostle that will bubble human understanding this year 2017 in the name of Jesus Christ lift up your voice unto God let him hear your voice of intercession father in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth let this church continue Faith Tabernacle, continue to experience supernatural growth after the order of the acts of the apostle that will baffle human understanding in the name of Jesus Christ. Pray in your understanding. Pray in the Holy Ghost this morning. Let heaven hear your voice of intercession. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, let this church continue to experience supernatural growth after the order of the acts of the apostle that will baffle human understanding in the name of Jesus Christ the next Sabbath day nearly the whole city came together for to hear the word of the Lord every Sunday this year shall be a Sabbath day after the order of us 1344, in the name of Jesus Christ, lift up your voice unto heaven. Let him hear your voice. Celebrate him. Appreciate him. Give him all the glory. Give him all the praise. Jesus, we thank you this morning because you have had us again. We celebrate you because faith tabernacle in the year 2017 shall experience supernatural order of growth after the order of the acts of the apostle. Father, we thank you. In Jesus' great name, we have prayed. Put your hands together for Jesus, and you may please be seated. My case is different. We shall here be praying, saying, Father, in the name of Jesus, let our children, our children's church, be a launching pad for the rise of new generation Daniels, thereby turning each child to a living wonder. Daniel chapter 1, verse 17 to 18. And for these children, the Lord gave them understanding 
far above all the other children. Let's rise up to our feet and raise our voices and pray passionately, pray believing. Father, in the name of Jesus, let our children church be a launching pad for this, for the rise of new generation Daniels, thereby turning each child to a living wonder in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, in the name of Jesus, let all our children be let our children church be a launching pad for the rise of new generation Daniels, thereby turning each child to a living wonder in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, in the name of Jesus, let our children church be a launching pad for the rise of new generation Daniels, thereby turning each child to a living wonder in the name of Jesus. Father, we are asking that our children church become a launching pad for new generation Daniels, thereby turning each child to a living wonder in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, in the name of Jesus, let our children church be a launching pad for the rise of new generation Daniels, thereby turning each child to a living wonder among many in the name of Jesus. Father, we are asking in the name of Jesus that our children church be a launching pad for the new generation Daniels, thereby turning each child to a living wonder in the name of Jesus. Father, in the name of Jesus, we are asking, oh Lord, that our children church be a launching pad for the rise of new generation Daniels, thereby turning each child to a living wonder in the name of Jesus. Just like you did it for Daniel in Babylon and all his colleagues, we are asking in the name of Jesus that our children church be a launching pad for the rise of new generation Daniels, thereby turning each child to a living wonder in the mighty name of Jesus. Is someone praying? Let's pray passionately. Let's pray believing. Father, in the name of Jesus, we are asking that our children church be a launching pad for the rise of new generation Daniels, thereby turning each child to a living wonder among many. In the mighty name of Jesus, you gave Daniel and his men wisdom and understanding that 10 times they were better than their peers. Therefore, we are asking in the name of Jesus that our children church be a launching pad for the rise of new generation Daniels, thereby turning each child to a living wonder in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, in the name of Jesus, let our children church be a launching pad for the rise of new generation Daniels, thereby turning each child to a living wonder in the name of of Jesus. Father, in the name of Jesus, we are asking, oh Lord, that our children church be a launching pad for the rise of new generation Daniels, thereby turning each child to a living wonder among many in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, in the name of Jesus, we are asking that our children church be a a launching pad for the rise of new generation Daniels, thereby turning each child to a living wonder among many in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, in the name of Jesus, we are asking that our children church be turned into a launching pad for the rise of new generation Daniels, thereby In the name of Jesus, turning each child to a living wonder among many. In the mighty name of Jesus, Father, let our children church be turned into a launching pad for the rise of new generation Daniels, thereby turning each child to a living wonder among many in the mighty name of Jesus. Let's appreciate him. Let's exalt his holy name. Father, we give you all the glory. We appreciate you. We honor you. We adore you. In Jesus' mighty name, we are prayed. We may be seated. My case is different. In a moment, we're going to be upstanding to take the next prayer, saying, Father, endue me with the spirit of love, thereby empowering me to walk in the light of obedience to every 
of your commandment. John 14, 21, Jesus said, he that, keeps my, he that has my commandment and keep them is the one that loved me. Please rise with me this morning. Let's raise our voices to heaven as we begin to pray for and you men with the spirit of love. Father, and you me with the spirit of love, thereby empowering me to walk in the lifesome obedience to every of your commandments. In the name of Jesus Christ, is somebody praying this morning? This is one prayer that can turn the life of a man around completely as exemplified in the life of our father. He said, you don't know my secret until you know my heart beats for God. And we can see what God has done through him. Lift up your voice this morning and pray for the baptism of the spirit of love. Father, and do me, feel me, baptize me with the spirit of love thereby empowering me to walk in the lifesome obedience to every of your commandments. In the name of Jesus, our Father, we have come this morning to pray for fresh baptism, fresh endowment, fresh infilling of the spirit of love, thereby empowering us to walk in the lifesome obedience. Oh God, baptize me. Personify that, personalize that prayer this morning. Make that prayer your own prayer. Oh God, endue me with the spirit of love, thereby empowering me to walk in the lifesome obedience, timely obedience in the name of Jesus Christ to every of your commandments. Is somebody praying, believing this morning? Lift up your voice. Let the Lord hear your voice of intercession. Pray this prayer for yourself. Oh God, baptize me and do me with the spirit of love, thereby empowering me to walk in the lifesome obedience to every of your commandments. Pray in faith this morning. Pray believing. Pray with confidence. Pray boldly. Oh God, I have come this morning for fresh baptism, fresh endowment with the spirit of love for empowerment to walk in the lifesome obedience, to walk in joyful obedience, to walk in time, timely obedience in the name of Jesus to every of your commandment, to every of your instruction, to every of your order in the name of Jesus are you praying this morning? Let the Lord hear your voice. Men ought always to pray and not to faint. Oh God, we are crying unto you this morning for endowment with the spirit of love, thereby empowering us to walk in the light of obedience to every of your commandments. Father, baptize me. Father, endure me. Father, baptize me. Father, endure me. Cry your heart unto God this morning. He said, who are these that engage their heart in prayer? Engage your heart. Let the Lord see your heart cry this morning. Oh God, baptize me. Oh God, endure me with the spirit of love, thereby empowering me to walk in the light of obedience to every of your commandment. Pray your understanding. Pray in the Holy Ghost. Let the Lord hear your voice this morning. Let the Lord hear your voice this morning. Let the Lord hear your voice this morning. Oh God, and do me with the spirit of love. With the spirit of love. Empowering me to walk in the life of obedience. Says the love of God is shared abroad in the heart by the Holy Spirit. Power your prayer in the Holy Ghost some more. Repado Zusa Toria. Give him thanks and praise. Thank you, mighty Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we are prayed. Please be seated. My case is different. Shortly, we shall rise up again to pray. Saying, Father, in the name of Jesus, as you gather the multitudes into the one night with the king, establish the reality of supernatural exemption for all participants, resulting in turnaround testimonies. Psalm 105, 19 to 21, paraphrased. 
He was bound in iron until the time his word came. Then the king sent for him and loosed him. Rise with me on your feet as you say this prayer. Father, in the name of Jesus, as you gather the multitudes into the one night with the king, establish the reality of supernatural exemption for all participants, resulting in turn around testimonies. Make sure you are praying. The king has sent for us. Therefore, we must pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, as you gather the multitudes into the one night with the king, establish the reality of supernatural exemption for all participants, resulting in turn around testimonies. Let God hear your voice of prayer this morning and engage with your heart as you pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, as you gather the multitudes into the one night with the king, establish the reality of supernatural exemption for all participants, resulting in turn around testimonies. Let it be your Lord. Let it be your Lord. In the name of Jesus, we lift our voice unto you and ask in the name of Jesus, as you gather the multitudes into the one night with the king, establish the reality of supernatural exemption for all participants, resulting in turn around testimonies. Are you still praying this morning? Let your hearts be connected with what you are saying. Father, in the name of Jesus, as you gather the multitudes into the one night to the king, establish the reality of supernatural exemption for all participants, resulting in turn around testimonies. Make sure you are praying. Make sure you are praying. Let your hearts be in the prayer and pray in faith. Father, in the name of Jesus, as you gather multitudes into the one night with the king, establish the reality of supernatural exemption for all participants, resulting in turnaround testimonies. Let God hear your voice. Let God hear your voice. Pray some more. Father, in the name of Jesus, as you gather the multitudes into the one night with the king, establish the reality of supernatural exemption for all participants, resulting in turnaround testimonies. Make sure you get in in this prayer passionately. Say in that one line of prayer, Father, in the name of Jesus, as you gather multitudes into the one night to the king, establish the reality of supernatural exemption for all participants, resulting in turn around testimonies. The king sent for him and loosed him. Father, you are sent for us. That is why we pray as you gather multitudes to the one night to the king, even as our saints unto them, establish the reality of supernatural exemption for all participants, resulting in turn around testimonies. You are sent for the multitude, O oh Lord, the King of kings, as you gather them into the one night to the king, establish the reality of supernatural exemption. For all participants that you are sent for, resulting in turn around testimonies. Are you still praying? Are you still praying? Say this prayer passionately. Our Father, we pray in the name of Jesus. As you gather the multitudes into the one night to the king, establish the reality of supernatural exemption for all participants, resulting in turn around testimonies. This shall be our portion. The multitude shall gather. And the reality of the exemption established in their lives. Lift your hands and thank him. Father, we thank you for the answer. In Jesus' name we pray. Please, you may be seated. My case is different. Next, we shall be rising up to pray, saying, Father, in the name of Jesus, let the Holy Ghost come down as a mighty rushing wind, drafting unprecedented multitudes, 
into this church this coming Sunday. Can I hear the living amen? Numbers chapter 11 and verse 31. The Bible is written here. It says very clearly, There went forth a wind from the Lord and brought quails from the sea and let them fall by the camp. As it were, this journey round about the camp and two cubits high. Our testimony shall be stronger this coming Sunday. As soldiers of Christ, please rise up on your feet. Lift up your voice to the God that answers prayers. Remember no silent prayer. Pray from the depth of your heart. And let heaven hear you right now as you begin to call upon the name of the Lord. Pray fervently and pray from the depth of your soul. Let your heart be in what you are saying. Pray, Saint Father, in the name of Jesus, let the Holy Ghost come down as a mighty rushing wind. Let the Holy Ghost come down as a mighty rushing wind, drafting on precedented multitudes into this church, even faith tabernacle, this coming Sunday. Let heaven hear you right now as you pray. Oh, Lord God of heaven. We call upon you in the name of Jesus the Christ today. Let the Holy Ghost come down. Let the Holy Ghost come down as a mighty rushing wind. Let the Holy Ghost come down as a mighty rushing wind. Let the Holy Ghost come down as a mighty rushing wind. Drafting in multitudes, unprecedented, into faith tabernacle. This coming Sunday, Tonic, Faith Tabernacle, and Canaan land into a city without walls for multitudes of men and women, multitudes of young people and old people, Lord, for multitudes of vehicles. Father, let Canaan land be turned into a city without walls this coming Sunday for multitudes of people. Lord, let the Holy Ghost come down as a mighty rushing wind drafting multitudes into faith tabernacle this coming Sunday. Let the Holy Ghost come down as a mighty rushing wind rushing in people from every nook and corner of the city of Lagos, of the township of Ota, of its environs, and even beyond, bringing them speedily to Canaan land, Lord, bringing them speedily to faith tabernacle, thereby turning faith tabernacle to a city without walls this coming Sunday. Let this coming Sunday be one with a difference. Are you still praying? Pray, 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 pray. And pray some more. No silent prayer. Let heaven hear your voice. Make an investment right now. Let heaven hear you as you pray. Call upon the name of the Lord that answers prayer. Father, we are praying this early morning and calling upon your name that the Holy Ghost will come down as a mighty rushing wind. Cause the Holy Ghost to come down as a mighty rushing wind. Father, cause the Holy Ghost to come down as a mighty rushing wind. Rushing a multitude of people into Canaan land this coming Sunday, turning Canaan land into a city without walls. Is somebody still praying? Lift up your voice to the God that answers prayers and pray some more. Pray, 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 pray in your understanding and pray in the Holy Ghost. Few moments left. Let heaven hear you. Don't keep silent. Don't keep quiet. Raise up your voice to the God of heaven. Pray in your understanding. Pray in the Holy Ghost. Father, we are calling upon you right now that the Holy Ghost come down as a mighty rushing wind. You did it before on the day of Pentecost. Father, do it again. Father, do it again. Father, do it again. Let Pentecost be repeated in Canaan land this coming Sunday. Lord, let this coming Sunday be a repeat of Pentecost. Lord, let this coming Sunday be a repeat of Pentecost here in Canaan land and at the faith tabernacle. As the Holy Ghost brings in and rushes in, men, unprecedented multitudes into this church this coming Sunday. Magnify the name of the Lord and give him thanks right now for answered prayers. Wave your hands to the Lord and give him praise. Say thank you, Jesus. Louder, yeah, thank you, Jesus. Amen. It is done. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Please be seated. My case is different. 
In this covenant, our prayer, it is testimony time. Please listen to these documented testimonies and be blessed. Number one, 25 year delayed pregnancy ends. I joined this commission in 1999. Before then, I had a daughter, but thereafter, I believed God for the fruit of the womb for 25 years. Each time I came to Shiloh, I wrote my prayer request. In 2015, a woman took me to a nurse who told me to bring 45,000 naira for drugs, which I would take and thereafter conceive after two months. I said to her, are you God? I told her that I would return the next day. When I got home, I told God that he created the whole universe in six days. So, a day is too small for him to attend to my case. I further said, if you are the one that gave my mother and the Lord, Pastor Mrs. Faith to Yedeko children without taking drugs, come and use your hands on me. I promised God that I would sow the 45,000 naira on his altar. I kept reminding God of this declaration and also engaged in soul winning. I told God that the nurse gave me two months. So I'm also giving him two months. God said to me, two months is too much for me, my daughter. After 25 days, God stepped into my case. Now I have my baby. Put your hands better for the doer of this testimony. Evelyn Chuku is the testifier. Number two, change of level and career breakthrough via prophetic declaration. I joined this church during Shiloh 2013. Before now, I walked from hand to mouth and lived in a diabolical house. I listened to people's testimony and felt it was impossible. However, I cried to God to visit me, and he did. In 2015, he helped me to build a four-bedroom duplex with two city rooms, though my work is on contract basis. I came to Shiloh 2016 and desired another touch from the God of Shiloh. During the morning session on Friday, December 9, 2016, the bishop declared that we would receive strength calls of favor after the service. Surprisingly, immediately after the service, my company in Singapore called that I should prepare to travel on December 12 for another job that the agent will prepare my flight ticket. I give all the glory to the God of Shiloh. Ovat Londi is the testifier. Put your hands together for the doer of these testimonies. As you rise to your feet in anticipation of God's word. Lift your voice to heaven and give God thanks this morning for his faithfulness manifested in our midst as evidence in the testimony that we have heard, a proof that he's hearing our cries and responding to them swiftly. Let's lift our voices to heaven and speak to him, giving him thanks and glorifying his holy name. Father, we thank you. We don't take your doing for granted. You have done all things well. We celebrate you, we honor you, and we glorify your holy name. You are worthy of all the praise. Now let's begin to ask him to speak to us this morning. Lord, speak to us again this morning by your word. Let your word come in our direction. Let it come clearly. Let it come in our direction with grace, enabling us to put it to work. We give you thanks and we give you the praise. Blessed be your holy name. In Jesus' precious name we have prayed. Father, this morning we come before you with gratitude for the privilege of standing before you today. Thank you because we know that you have brought us here for a blessing. Let each one of us depart here with the reality of that blessing. By your word, change our level. We give you thanks and we give you the praise. In Jesus' precious name we have prayed. Somebody believes, say a loud amen. amen. 
Give Jesus a big hand and please be seated in his presence. My case is different because congratulations. We have been looking in our covenant hour of prayer at this line of exhortation engaging kingdom power channels. Engaging kingdom power channels. And that is principally taken from the book of Habakkuk chapter 3 and verse 4. The scripture makes it clear to us there. It said, and his brightness was as the light and his hands had horns coming out of them and there was the hiding place of his power. So according to scriptures, we are made to see that there are several hiding places or hidden channels of God's power. And it is our access to these channels of power that ultimately determines our dominion in the journey of life. And we've been looking at several of these channels made available to us in scriptures. And this morning we're going to be looking at one of such channels that is critical for our access to dominion. And that is the power in the name of Jesus. The name of Jesus is given as a channel of power. And remember the gifts of God are without repentance. Romans chapter 11 and verse 29. And the scripture tells us in the book of Philippians chapter 2, particularly verse 9 to 11, the scripture tells us there, he said, that wherefore God has also highly exalted him and given him a name that is above every other name. He said that at the name of Jesus, every knee shall bow of things in heaven, of things in earth, and of things under the earth. So whether heaven, angels, whether earth, human forces, or whether under the earth, demonic forces, all bow to the authority of the name of Jesus Christ. And why is that so? Number one, we discover that the name of Jesus is self-anointed to rescue and deliver. It is a self-anointed name. In the book of Songs of Solomon, chapter 1, number 3, the Bible makes us to understand, he said, thy name is like ointment poured forth. Thy name is like ointment poured forth. So the name of Jesus, it carries the anointing of Jesus upon it. Remember the Bible says in the book of Proverbs chapter 18 and verse 10, it said the name of the Lord is a strong tower. The righteous run into it and they are saved. So the name is self-anointed and carries in it the, the anointing of Jesus, which has unlimited capacity to deliver. The Bible says in the book of John chapter 3 and verse 34, it said concerning Jesus that God has given him anointing without measure. So there is no case you cannot be delivered from with the name of Jesus being put to work. In fact, Jesus said this in the book of John chapter 14, verse 13 and verse 14. Jesus said this. He said in verse 13 and 14 of this scripture, he made it clear. He said, whatsoever you ask in my name, that will I do, that the Father may be glorified in the Son. And he repeated also in verse 14. He said, if you ask anything in my name, so the name of Jesus has no limit. Anything, whatsoever you ask in my name, it will be done. And if you ask anything in my name, so no matter the case you find yourself in, the name of Jesus has unlimited capacity to deliver. Unlimited capacity. To deliver that is why no matter what you are confronted with you can shout the name of Jesus with understanding and with faith and what you are simply doing is releasing the anointing upon Jesus into that case for your deliverance and for your rescue shout hallelujah so the name of Jesus carries unlimited capacity 
to deliver and to rescue because it is self-anointed. It has been put this way to us in illustration. That the same way you have a kind of um, insecticide, you have mosquitoes flying everywhere, and you take your insecticide and you spray the insecticide in the environment, and suddenly you find all the mosquitoes dropping and falling, all the various insects dropping and falling. A few moments later, you take your broom and begin to sweep, and you find all the things that were flying around falling on the ground because of the spray of that insecticide. In the same way, when you breathe the name of Jesus, you are spraying heavily insecticide against every demonic oppression, against every oppression of the devil. And what happens is that all the forces that have been standing against you begin to fall down to the ground. Why? Because at the name of Jesus, every knee must bow. I see every force standing against anyone's life and destiny today being brought down in the name of Jesus Christ. But number two, we discover that the name of Jesus empowers us for dominion. The name of Jesus empowers us for dominion. We are naturally in charge every time we invoke that name in faith. In the book of Mark chapter 16, verse 17 down to verse 20, the scripture tells us there, he said, in my name, he said, this sign shall follow, in my name you will cast out devils, you will speak with new tongues. These signs will be following those who are operating in my name. And the Bible said in verse 20 of that scripture, he said, they went everywhere preaching. The Lord also walking with them, confirming the word with signs following. They were going and invoking his name. And the name of Jesus put them in charge by provoking signs and wonders. We see this very clearly illustrated in the book of Acts chapter 3. When Peter and John entered into the temple and they met the man at the gate called Beautiful. The Bible said that they said to this man, look upon us. And Peter says, silver and gold I have none, but such as I have, I give unto you. In the name of Jesus, rise up and walk. And the Bible said immediately strength entered into his ankle bones. And he began to leap and walk and jump, entering into the temple. And when everybody began to wonder, what is it behind this? In verse 16 and 17 of the scripture, the Bible said, Peter said, it is the name and faith in the name. The name of Jesus and faith in the name put this man in perfect soundness. So the name of Jesus has dominion over every situation of life. If there is sickness, it has capacity to put you in dominion over it. The name of Jesus is endless in its capacity to enforce our dominion. So that name is a gift from God to you and to me. And we can engage that name to enforce our dominion. The Bible says in the book of Acts chapter 9, Peter was going through a, a, a particular city. And verse 33 down to verse 35 we come across a man there, and the Bible said this man called Aeneas, he had been on bed, sick, for eight years, and he had been sick with the palsy. And Peter was passing through that region, and he said, Aeneas, Jesus Christ makes you whole. The mystery of the name is that when you are invoking the name, you are not the one who is issuing the instruction anymore. It is now Jesus issuing the instruction. The way you can look at it is this. When you find a man who is placed in position in any office, maybe he's the CEO of that office, once a document carries his signature, he's the owner of that document. In the same way, what simply happens with the name of Jesus is this. Jesus said, I give you a blank sheet, write what you want, and then I will sign it. So what you are simply saying is, now in the name of Jesus Christ, this situation, I take dominion over you. Whatever you stated, Jesus just put his signature on it. So whatever it is that cannot confront him, cannot confront you. I see somebody today, via the word of God that you are receiving, entering into a new realm of dominion in the name of Jesus Christ. The same way Jesus was never in a place of being subjected, he was always in dominion. That same way, you shall always be in dominion in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Now that is the value of the gift of the name. The power behind Christ is available in the very name of Jesus. Will you lift up your right hand to heaven this morning? Lord, I receive grace to operate this mystery with understanding from this day. Lift up your voice. I receive grace 
to operate this mystery with understanding from this morning. Let God hear the voice of your supplication. I receive grace. I don't want to use that name casually anymore. I want to use it with understanding, provoking the power therein to answer on my behalf. Thank you, mighty God, in the precious name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Shall we rise on our feet this morning as we receive our Father to take us further in this service? Give Jesus a big hand. Lift up those two hands one more time and give God thanks for the grace granted you to be a partaker of this awesome season. Give him thanks for the grace granted you to be effectual on the prayer altar. Give him thanks. For the light that has come your way ever since we began, this is the fifth day and the second day in the three-day modus. The second model of the three days. Give him thanks for answers to your questions that are already coming. Give him thanks for answers to your prayers that you have already received. Give him thanks to the answers to your prayers that are on the way coming. Now ask him to speak to you again. Thank him for what he already said. That you have the name of Jesus that carries unlimited power for your rescue and my rescue, for your deliverance and my deliverance. In Jesus' precious name, we have prayed. I'd like you to look at whatever situation is part of your desires for this season and begin to invoke the name of Jesus in faith to enforce the delivery of your desire. Now, in the name of Jesus, barrenness is over in my life. In the name of Jesus, you foul spirit of infirmity, leave me alone. Now, whatever it is that you don't want in your life, engage the name of Jesus against it. Engage the name of Jesus against it. Whatever you desire, engage the name of Jesus for his delivery. Put to work the things you have heard. Spread the anointing on the name of Jesus against those unwanted situations. They have no choice but bow. They have no choice but bow. They have no choice but bow. Now, begin to engage that name. Invoke that name in faith and take delivery of your desires this hour. Invoke that name in faith and take delivery of your desire this hour. Come on, go ahead. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, I declare my victory over this battle this hour. In the name of Jesus, my health is fully restored today. In the name of Jesus, whatsoever you shall ask in my name, that will I do. If you ask anything in my name, I will do it. You must bow today. Every foul spirit tormenting any aspect of your life must bow today. Come on, pray. Pray engaging, pray invoking the name of Jesus in faith. Pray engaging and pray invoking the name of Jesus in faith. Rade Korea le praktano zazezo. Ye kete kotaka taka roke teke leria. Ye kleria ye praktana raduze. Come on now, pray. Engaging, 
and invoking the name of Jesus in faith. Yekotono prodia le sazo. Rade klerote saria brektano rade. Talet. Cesorike, Porecano, Cesiaro, Sheclarado, Cesize, Bacato, Elaco, Leprada, in the name of Jesus. Go ahead and pray. Engage that name right now in battle against the uprisings that are arrayed against you. The name of Jesus. Come on, begin to give him thanks. In Jesus' precious name, we have prayed. Whatever you have demanded in the name, believing, it is declared settled. Whatever you have demanded this early morning, engaging and invoking the name of Jesus in faith, is declared delivered for a testimony. Even before the one night with the king, there's a testimony in your hand. Even before the one hour, the one night with the king tonight, your testimony has landed. In the name of Jesus Christ, every spirit of infirmity is cast out of your life. In the name of Jesus, every satanic barrier against your career is crossed on your part. Even today, somebody's landing a miracle job. Today, a business favor is coming the way of someone. Everywhere you turn in the name of the Lord Jesus, the door is declared open. In the name of Jesus, that broken home is declared restored. In the name of Jesus Christ, that marital spirit is broken today. In the name of Jesus Christ, that siege of barrenness is over today. Every oppression of the devil from anywhere against any destiny under the sound of my voice. In the name of Jesus, your victory is established. Thank you, Father. Wave those great hands to God and bless his name. Amen. In Jesus' name. Now, Peter never says, such as I know. He says, such as I have. There's a word of difference between what to know and what to have. Revelation is what turns the truth into keys. What turns it? 
Revelation is what turns the truth into keys in your hand. Such as I have, give I unto you. I have the name of Jesus that has power to heal every manner of sickness and every manner of disease. Therefore, by engaging what I have in faith, rise up and walk. Such as I have, not such as I know. For preachers here, not such as I preach. Such as I have. Such as I have. Now you're living here with the name of Jesus this morning. And to remain a weapon of war in your hand for life. Such as I have. Jesus, I refuse to die. And a strange hand held him in the waters and guided him to the rescue boat and left. Jesus, I refuse to die. He said, son, I am committed for your rescue. Pick him up. It's a brand new day for you. Yeah. Well, tonight we are all set to be part of the great night with the king. And you, you read Psalm 105, 17 to 22, and see what happened when the king sent for Joseph. His imprisonment ended. His imprisonment, shame, and reproach ended. His ordeal came to an end. His color was restored. His beauty was restored. Several fold compared with what he lost. Several fold compared with what he lost. There will be a repeat of that in everyone's life today. Yeah. Lift up those two hands and celebrate Jesus. Magnify him. The time is 11 p.m. And we have it holding in all of those uh, provincial centers and selected centers. Endeavor to be part of it tonight and be blessed as you do. Lift up those hands. Give God thanks. Celebrate him. Give him thanks. He's worthy of praise. Give him the glory. Give him the honor. Give him the adoration. Father, we thank you. You are worthy of all the praise. You are worthy of all the glory. You are worthy of all the honor. We give you thanks. We give you praise. We give you glory. We celebrate you, Jesus. We honor you. We are grateful. Accept our thanksgiving. Accept our thanksgiving. In the name of of the Lord Jesus, we have prayed. In the name of Jesus, we have prayed. Amen. Now, with joy, let us share the goodness of the Lord together. Surely, God's goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our lives, and we shall dwell in the presence of the Lord forever. Amen. Peace. My case is different because I'm redeemed of the Lord, and as a covenant child, what affects others is not permitted to affect me. Congratulations. Congratulate somebody as you go. Be blessed.